welcome to your daily writing habit. If you are writing a book or thinking about it, or maybe you've started writing a book, but you need some help getting it done, you are in the right place. Good morning, everyone. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh. If you're looking for me on the web, look for Christine Inc. I-N-K, like that stuff we write with. Each day, I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 21 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success as an author, and they can even turn someone who barely sees themselves as a writer into a published book author. Those three things, my pillars here on the show, are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. Hello, happy Tuesday, and welcome once again to Your Daily Writing Habit, episode number 1479. Here's today's quote. AI is computation. Best guesses based on statistics. It is work. Jewels of energy dissipated through the movement of information. Despite the flashy new veneer, AI is not a revolution in communication, but in productivity. It's not the printing press or telegraph, it's the assembly line, the jet engine, Technologies that produce work rather than transfer information. And for knowledge workers, the latest developments in AI represent a new paradigm for work. And that is from Constantine Bueller. And I'm not sure if I've just kind of slid back into my Tuesday AI and authors official series from earlier this year. So I'm just kind of going with it at this point, because honestly, the more I learn, the more thoughts I have about how AI will affect our playground and our livelihood as authors. And by the way, the longish quote I just read is today's quote of the day about how AI is, and I quote, not a revolution in communication, but in productivity. It's from a fascinating article about AI and work. The link is in the show notes. So let's explore that idea. If AI is not a revolution in communication, then logically, nor is it a revolution in creativity at the moment which is the disclaimer around virtually every conversation now around artificial intelligence, large language models like chat GPT and BARD and machine learning. Not at the moment. Also, what AI is not at the moment, at this point in its evolution, is a replacement for the human experience. As a productivity tool, how could it be? I'm specifically thinking of the responses I see forwarded to me regularly by my clients from readers of their books, especially any variation of a memoir-style book which triggers deep layers and understanding of the human experience that other books often do not, hence my passion for the art of the memoir. The responses I see to my own and my clients' books are quite remarkable in their enthusiasm, passion, and the insights that readers share as a result of their reading. And this is why I've recently started referring to those reader outcomes as shifts, because they really are. They're tectonic emotional shifts that happen from reading a book from reading a thoughtfully designed, well-written book produced from the soul of a human, intentionally designed to create such an impact, like a meteor leaving a dent in the Earth's surface. The area of impact will never again be the same. Reading these responses, emails, reviews, I wonder if there will ever be a tipping point in the future where a machine-generated work, like a machine-generated book, where it'll ever trigger such emotional meteors. It's hard to imagine that now, but the history of technology is full of things that we failed to imagine until they were upon us. The ability to create the level of emotional and psychological shift that a great book creates, that would be a doozy, though. And if machines fail to create that shift, but undeterred, people continue to use them to crank out books that attempt to imitate the emotional tapestry that can be created by a human author, well, will readers even know the difference? After a while, will they know? Will they instinctively know that something's missing? Or will they become so conditioned by plastic replicas of the full human experience that they will become, on some level, less human as a result? And more than that, where do you want your voice to land in that mix? Where do you want to contribute to that conversation? Socrates famously ranted about all that would be lost from the art of the spoken word when it was replaced by the printed word. Did we indeed lose many things in translation, or were those things simply translated into a new medium of communication? Or do we even know? So those are some deep philosophical questions to ponder on a Tuesday. And on a much lighter note, be sure and tune in tomorrow for a much more productive and current discussion of AI and how 
Viewing it purely as the productivity tool that it currently is can help you with your author content strategy. I recently interviewed content strategy expert Francine Sinclair, and we have lots of actionable tips for you in tomorrow's episode. Tune in then. Thank you for joining me here on Your Daily Writing Habit, where I am helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. Be sure and drop by my Inc. Authors group on Facebook for motivation, accountability, book writing, publishing resources, and more. I would also be so appreciative if you could subscribe or follow wherever you happen to be listening to the sound of my voice and leave a review while you're there. Thank you so much. Until tomorrow, happy writing.